he's in a bag. In a booth. Should I bring around your usual then? Whatever. Hey guys and gals Yo. of the interwebs, this is Gibran. Today I'm working on this Lobo piece. Oh, the main man. I found Lobo back in Don't the 90s. I was a freshman in high school Lobo finds you. and just happened to pick up one of the comics and it didn't say suggested for a mature reader or anything <laughs> like it? that no on it. No mature reader would so read I got Lobo, it home bro. And, uh, my mind was blown. No, that was drugs. I instantly fell in love with the character. Um, the greatest thing was is he was not a hero. What? I wouldn't even say he was an anti-hero. Mm -hmm. He was basically a villain. Oh, well, sure. With his own comic. Hell yeah. And it was great because the only person Lobo was looking out for was Lobo. Well, he is the um, main man. He was a bounty hunter. Wrong. He was an intergalactic bounty hunter, That's actually. That's better. And um, I don't know. It was really gritty and crass. Just art mimicking he was, life, uh, bro. Just like I said, he just was all about himself. Like I said, it's art great, mimicking life, bro. It was a fun bro. comic. It was a great ride. Um, Simon Bisley drew it. The man, the loved the, the art in it. Definitely, was, like the main reason I picked it up when I when I did as a kid. It was corrupting your mind. And it just mind. fit into everything. It was at that time. It was just perfect for a metalhead, weed smoking little kid just looking to play music and trying to get laid and failing at it. Might I add? You know, Biz also did art for Danzig, and he even did like a Slayer poster, which we'll save all that for another video. So thanks for checking out the video. Um, as soon as the video comes up, this piece will also be on eBay. Judging. And thanks for everybody who bid Thank on you. the last Thank piece. Thank you very much. Later.